Hello and welcome to Addicted to Angling. Today we've come down to Brighton in Sussex, see if we can target some place. Turned up today, absolutely perfect. Conditions are spot on. If we don't see one, I'll be very upset. Even if we don't see one, I'm sure we'll see some other species. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's see if we can get a place on camera for you. Cheers. Quick talk through the baits I'm using today here at Brighton uh, after these place. First thing I'm using, just your normal ragworm. Stuff you buy from the shops, stuff you dig, absolutely standard. Good bait, it's now coming into spring, summertime. I always start using these over lugworm in the spring and summertime. If you want to fish prefer them, obviously your bass, your flatties, even the cod, they love them. Uh, that's the first one. Second one, I'm using small white ragworm, also known as silvers. Dug these myself yesterday. Absolutely brilliant bait. Hopefully these will get the place involved. I put the ragworm on the hook and then I whip these into the ragworm. Two or three. Give a little bit of extra scent, a little bit of extra colour. Next, I've got my standard lugworm, only a few, found these yesterday whilst uh, digging my little silvers, see if anything likes them, and then just to tip off with, give it a bit of extra colour, a bit of extra scent, normal dirty squid, always use the dirty on wash stuff. Wash stuff's been bleached, like your calamari and stuff like that. I'd never use that because it takes the scent, the, the scent and the smell away. Always use the dirty stuff. Like I say, cut it up, tip it off, put it on the hook after you put your worm on. Bit of extra movement, bit of extra colour. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Right, been here a couple of hours. I won clunk and great bite a little while ago, missed that. Uh, so I'm hoping that could be a sign they're coming on the feed. We'll see what happens. No one's gonna take me alive. The time has come to make things right. You and I must fight for our rights. You and I must fight to survive. Time has come to make things 
Basically, upon impact, this hits the water, that pops out, the hooks drop out of the imp, and then the actual drop system itself slides down the line to the bottom. So what you have an effect is you have all your bait and your rig down to the bottom. Like I say, basically the same as a standard pulley dropper, but in a wishbone effect. On the business end, on a size 1 B940 Camazans, on the top of the wishbone, you've got an SRT spring, so up on impact, opens up, in effect, it should keep the wishbone spread a little bit further apart, so that's not just line, so they're not sitting like that, they are sitting with a little bit of distance between them. Hopefully, not getting tangled. Yeah, no tangles yet, so it is working. Let's just hope it catches a fish. You never know. That's not what you're going to do. <laughs> Cheers. Well, it's taken me all day, but I finally managed to get one. <laughs> a tiny little flounder. Not a place, not what we came here for. But it has been a struggle today. Um, lucky to be the blank. Like I say, pretty little fish. Didn't even know he was hooked. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, we'll crack on a little while longer so we can get a place on camera. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Uh, so far, we've had flounders and rockland, but like I say, conditions are a bit hard. There's a lot of rods out along the beach all around us, and everyone's struggling. So, uh, yeah, like I say, at least the beach is blank. Right, I'm on my last cast, um, hopefully it's going to pull a place out, I really don't think it will. <laughs> we came down here for a place from Ipswich to Brighton, um, we haven't had any place, all we've had is flounders and rockland but it's still fish. I uh, thought I'd make a video out of it, mainly because it's fishing. We go out to catch species, some people just go out to catch a fish. We don't get what we want all the time, sometimes we blank, sometimes we just don't get the species that we want. Um, it's a way to cook your crumbles at the end of the day, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry I couldn't produce a place for you and none of the other lads could. We tried our hardest, we have fished this so hard today, it's unbelievable. We haven't seen any place come out along the seafront, a few flounders here and there, but I don't know, conditions were perfect, just one of them things I suppose. Um, well, like I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out for future uh, episodes of Addicted to Angling. Summer's coming, hounds. 
bass and some other little surprises along the way. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, see you later.